This is a match requested by John over on Patreon. If you would like to request your own match for me to make, head over to my Patreon. The link is in the description. A dream match of epic proportions. A Survivor Series style 5-on-5 five five elimination match for the NLW 24-7 title, the NWO versus the Bullet Club. Hollywood Hogan is the 24-7 champion, but he did not want to defend that title in a regular setting. Instead, he is backed up by his NWO thugs, ensuring to help him keep the championship. If the NWO win, Hogan wins. He remains the 24-7 champion, but if Bullet Club win, the remaining men on that team will fight for the 24-7 title. It's as simple as that. But Hogan not starting this one. It's six and AJ and now Scott Hall in as AJ makes the tag to one of the good brothers. And in comes Kevin Nash and Nash gets caught with the cutter. And Carl Anderson making the tag to Luke Gallows. Going for the magic killer here. But the big show with a punch. The knockout blow, another jackknife from Kevin Nash. And the Giant, the Big Show, with the pin on Luke Gallows. And now Hogan wants to come in and pick up the scraps. With this leg drop to Carl Anderson. And already the NWO are up 5-3. to three. And he has to take the time, does the champion, to pose for this crowd. But in comes Kenny Omega! trigger to Hogan and in comes Six and Six Buck with a backdrop and Omega in trouble going for the Bronco Buster but Omega moved and on the shoulders of Omega for the one winged angel and Kenny Omega eliminates Six Buck and now Nash in but look at Omega with a snap tiger suplex. And now that's the tag to Finn Balor for the coup de grace. Hooks that big leg of Nash's and things are even again. Now it's Scott Hall's turn to come in and face the demon who delivers a stiff chop to Scott Hall. And now dropping him with a paroxysm. And AJ makes the tag to Balor. Goes for a DDT, but Scott Hall gets out of it. But he doesn't realise that AJ's a legal man. AJ going for a springboard. Leaps over. Goes to the clothesline. And now a Pele kick to Scott Hall. AJ Styles posing for this audience. But the big show in. The giant with a throttle across the throat. Chunk slam coming. No, turned into a DDT. And AJ in for the cover, but a kick and no! Hogan wanted to break it up. And he hit the leg drop on his own partner. The Giant got wiped out. In comes AJ with the phenomenal forearm. And AJ Styles eliminates the Giant. Meanwhile, Hogan and Balor fighting on the outside. And AJ needs to get some help. He tags in Omega. And AJ going to help Balor, who's in trouble, but Scott Hall misses his target. Punches Hogan by mistake. And the sling blade from Balor. And that punch from Hall rocked Balor. Look at Hogan. I should say rocked Hogan. Look at him. He's on the announce table. And now AJ wants to get some revenge. AJ starts with a springboard. Oh, my God. Phenomenal forearm misses. And he crashes and burns through the table. My goodness. But meanwhile in the ring, Omega, you can't escape. But Hogan on the ring apron and raking the eyes of Omega. And that allows Scott Hall to hit the outsider's edge. And Scott Hall eliminates Kenny Omega. And the NWO have evened it up again. But I have to say, is it really even, considering one of the guys is, well, he's wiped out. Hogan looks at the damage he's done. AJ laying flat through the announce table. We'll take a look at how this happened again. 
went for the phenomenal forearm to Hogan, but he crashed and burned through the announce table. Now if Hall and Hogan are the two remaining men, Hogan retains the 24-7 championship. If Balor and AJ are the two remaining men, they will fight for the 24-7 title at a later date, and Hogan's no longer the champion. However, it looks like the NWO have this in control with that scoop slam to Balor. And Hollywood Hogan gets caught with a back kick. And now Scott Hall making sure he's okay. But you can tell that Balor's in a bad way here. Then again, so's Hogan. Look out! Two pick on hello. Finn Balor flies over the top. Finn Balor wiping out Hogan and Scott Hall. But now he needs to get the legal man back in. And he does. And Finn Balor wants to put it away. Eliminate the champion. And you're one step closer to getting that 24-7 title. But Hogan backdrops Balor and now he wants the tag. Scott Hall makes the tag and look out. Finn Balor drop kicking Hogan outside. And in the ring, Hall has him. Going for the outside is an edge with a stomp. And Finn Balor on the top. And the coup de grace to Scott Hall. He hooks the outside leg and Finn Balor eliminates Scott Hall. Hall is gone. There is only one man remaining for the NWO and it's Hogan and look out. Holding the tights and oh my goodness. Hogan eliminates Balor. Balor is gone from the Bullet Club as Hogan takes him out. Now we're only down to two. It is Hogan and that man who's back on his feet. Look out, it's AJ Styles. Phenomenal forearm to Hogan. Picks him up. And there's the Styles clash. And Styles has this one in the bag. But oh my. He's hulking up. Hulk Hogan is hulking up. And this crowd cannot believe it. Hollywood Hogan. And AJ Styles battling. Whoever wins this one will be the NLW 24-7 champion. He went for the leg drop. But a pop-up Rana. Now AJ Styles springs in. Springboard 450. And Hogan kicks out. Incredible scenes. Hogan kicking out of the 450. Now can AJ Styles put this one away? Has him held. Going for the Styles Clash. But Hogan stops it. Lands on his feet. And now Hogan going for a power bomb. Going for a run. And there's AJ that holds on. No way! Styles Clash, yes! Hogan hit the Styles Clash! And the leg drop to AJ Styles! And Hollywood Hogan retains the 24-7 title. Hogan is still the champion as AJ Styles suffers defeat. Well, a mixed reaction to the New World Order. But here, Hogan remains the champion. Bullet Club put up a hell of a fight though. Let's take a look at the replays of this incredible contest. The Good Brothers were eliminated early on with some great teamwork from the NWO. Then when Kenny Omega even the score with a one-winged angel and Balor with a coup de gras made it free apiece. Hogan messed up big time though, allowing for AJ Styles to hit the forearm, but he couldn't hit this. This was certainly a turning point going through the announce table and then Omega taken out with a one well the outsider's edge and you see Balor very resourceful with the stomps which eliminated Scott Hall but he did not have his peripheral vision checked he was eliminated it was down to two AJ and Hogan but Hogan hulked up no selling the Styles Clash even this wasn't enough this springboard 450 a thing of beauty couldn't put away Hogan but Hogan got out of that second Stars Clash and hit his own, followed up with the leg drop. And Hollywood Hogan is still your NLW 24-7 champion. The NWO, victorious over the Bullet Club in this Survivor Series style match. And he rocks out to the theme music with that belt around his waist. And you see Hogan making sure 
that nobody's going to attack him. Remember, he has to defend that championship 24 hours a day, seven days a week. He is still the champion, but he better have eyes in the back of his head. The NWO and Hollywood Hogan, for now, are victorious.